When we talk about a higher rep range, that means that you're going to be doing more repetitions of that same exercise in each set. And that means that you are going to be working with a little bit lower weight than you would if you're doing a short rep range. The advantage there actually is you can pay a little bit more attention to your form or it's easier to pay attention to your form because those first reps, let's say you're working and trying 15 to 20 reps in your rep range. So you're going to be doing that exercise. Let's say it's a shoulder press. You're doing the shoulder press. You're going to do it 15 times. Well, the first rep, the second rep, third rep, fourth rep, fifth rep, you're going to be able to do them fairly easily. And also reps six through 10, it's actually going to start only getting harder after rep 10. And this has a couple of benefits. One is, you know, you are really able to concentrate on your form. You're not yet needing to, or you don't have the temptation to kind of skew or start like doing some weird wiggle to get the weight up there. So you can really solidify your form and think about, okay, this is how I need to be moving my arms. My elbows need to be aligned like that. My hands like that, you know, while you're doing those first reps at the same time, it's a bit of a warm up for your body before you need to press hard, right? You can imagine that if you went in cold and picked up a really heavy weight, like you could pull something, right? So the higher rep range makes it easier for you to practice your form and to kind of warm up at the same time to avoid injury.